Okay, so this is the video for installing your spacebar onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal pieces that are on the keyboard. You can see at the very right there's a metal piece with a hole in the middle and at the very left there's the same piece. So those two pieces are going to grab onto a metal wire that's attached to the key itself. So right now we're going to use the next metal plate next to this one, which is this, this, and that. There's um, two um, metal pieces at the top here with holes in the middle and one large hook at the bottom. So we're going to uh, look at the different keys because they can change position. Sometimes the um, the hook can be at the top or to the side and that determines the position for these pieces so right now we're going to determine the position for these pieces then click them together to make one piece and after that we're going to install it onto the keyboard we're going to start with the large piece here you can see at the top it has two pins and at the bottom it has two pins in each corner so make sure not to put this whole piece upside down um, by looking at the vertical bars here. If you see a hole at the middle right here that um, that faces up and if you turn it around um, you can't see that hole anymore so that faces the keyboard so we're gonna put this piece down for now in the right position now that we know the position then we get our next piece which is this it has two pins at the top and two in the middle and one large bar at the bottom the bottom bar is going to go underneath the hook the middle pins are going to click into this other plastic piece and the top are going to click onto the um, the key itself later on so make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that by feeling the top bar. If you feel smooth part, that faces up. If you feel a bump in the middle, that faces the keyboard. Now that you know the position for both pieces, you just insert the pin of the small piece into the hole of the large piece. You do one side first, then you hold on to that side so it doesn't come out, and you separate the large piece from the small piece in order for it to uh, actually go in. Let me do that again. You put the um, first pin in, you hold it, then you separate the other piece. Now, both pieces are one. You put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the hook and push all the way up as much as you can, then hold it there with your other hand. Now, you uh, put one side in to the like the the pin you put it into the uh the metal the hole that's in the metal piece there so go ahead and do one side first once you have that side in you just do the other side now uh do the same for this other side just for the purpose of saving time on this video I've already installed that side now we get your key which is this and uh, you determine whether to put it like this or like this by feeling underneath, I mean looking underneath. Um, all these fittings have a purpose. Um, so this, in the middle there's a fitting at the top and there's none at the bottom. So now you know if you flip the key this way, this is gonna, uh, this is how it's gonna go. So for now we're going to be flipping this keyboard like that and put this at the top. Don't put that uh, the fitting at the bottom like that. Okay. So once we have that, we're going to put this metal wire and in, install it on the key. You can see that the fittings here, uh, there we're going to use the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Um, fitting there because the first and second are for the plastic pieces so this 
um, the discontinued part goes up and we're going just to put the wire right in between the fittings and push down till it clicks then you lay down the entire plastic I mean metal piece in order for it to uh, reach over to the other fittings and just push down till everything clicks now you get your other wire which is this and you put those at the top fittings there's four just put it in the center and push down till you feel all four clicking uh... remember we're gonna flip this over like that now we're gonna open up the uh... the wire so it's hanging and we're gonna put it in between the two uh... Hook, uh holes there that remain then just push down evenly on all four sides this um... it's gonna take a few seconds so just keep trying and once you have it in the right position all you have to do is push down on all sides make sure everything is clicked in the right place and there you go